Podcasters, welcome to JH586. I'm Jamie, and it is time for us to do a 30 30 video. I've been promising you guys this for a long time. Way back the 1st of February, I think, that first weekend in February, I went down to Kyle's shooting property down just outside of LaGrange, Georgia, and I had some 30 30 and a bunch of stuff loaded up. So we just had a good day of shooting, but it was kind of overcast and drizzling rain like it's been here for quite a while but uh i loaded up some 30 30 and uh i think uh mck sent me this brass look how good that cleaned up thanks bud we loaded up some brand new remington brass that i'd bought from cabela's a long time ago when i first got into reloading and we used these uh hornady ftx these are uh 160 grain 30 cal bullets there's the number if y'all want to try to get some that probably shows backwards on your screen no i'm sorry but anyway these these did pretty well and uh they look uh they look like this they got the polymer tips on them and they are safe to use with your uh lever guns so you're good there uh we used CCI large rifle prompt and IMR 4064. This is the first bound of powder I ever bought when I started reloading. Some numbers. We've got three five shot groups, half grain increments, 28.5, 29, and 29.5 grains of IMR 4064. Cartridge overall length is 2.535. We used brand new Remington brass. I, I was shooting so bad I gave my rifle and my rifle is the wonderful Marlin 336. Look at that. She looking good tonight with the Bushnell Trophy 3x9 uh, scope on there. So, pretty good. And it shot pretty good that day, but I was shooting so bad, I just gave it to Kyle. I said, here man, just do just do low development shooting on this and see what you can do. Our point of impact has changed on the scope since I had it sighted in for hunting with a uh, uh, different round but uh kyle's aiming here at the bullseye and the first group is way down here now this is our second group and he was aiming in this black in this black box but we'll get to that uh so that's just a matter of turning up the elevation it'll be okay it'll be fine right 10 man okay so here's our first five shot group y'all can see that we got one up here in the duct tape two and two 8.78 inches so that that's at 100 yards a really nice group and then our second group is the one right above it and uh it opened up so you got one right here um one right here and that's either two or three if that is two which i think it is we lost one shot i don't know where it went so i'm thinking that's four i don't know where the fifth one went maybe it was a misfire or something like that but anyway you can see that's a little bit over an inch and a half was at 1.650 and the third group oh that is 29 29 grains of IMR 464. And the third group, I told him just aim at this black, blank, uh, aim at the tape, and it impacted way down here. And this is practically the same size as the second group. And it's 29 and a half grains, and it's 2. Point I'm, I'm sorry, 1.655. It's five thousandths larger than the second group. So I don't know where to keep going up on this. Uh, no pressure signs at all. 
less than an inch at 100 yards with a lever gun, that's, that's pretty good right there. We'll take that all day long, even if Kyle did have to shoot it for me, because I was shooting, I'll sh I tell you what kind of day it was. Let me grab this. This is a 270 load. I've been working on trying to get to dead zero. And this is 2.29 inches at 100 yards. And that is a 140 grain Hornady SST. And that's 51.5 grains of Shooter's World 4350. But I know that's a better load and a better rifle than to shoot a two inch group at 100 yards. And that's when I just gave it to Kyle. And uh, another thing that another thing that happened right before I gave it to Kyle is I know Kyle's busting his gut for me to come uh, come clean on this one. Can y'all see that right there? Yep, I shot my chronograph. We had we were shooting off a picnic table on the uh, on a lake bank. The picnic table was leaned forward. That last shot, my rest went off of the front of the table and shot my chronograph. So it went in right here, right there. Come out up here, and then just busted out the back end of it. I wondered what happened because I could see parts flying in the lake. <laughs> but see, that's the kind of uh, that's the kind of year it's been for me so far. But I believe this is going to work. I got the, uh, all it really did was tore the wires in two inside there and uh, busted some plastic up. So I believe it's going to, I believe it'll still work. Just wanted to let y'all know what's going on with the, uh, with the 30 30. Anyway, let's wrap this up. I'm babbling. Um, uh, check us out on the Georgia Shooting Connection Friday Night Live stream on the Georgia Shooting Connection YouTube channel. Check us out on Discord. That's, uh, that's pretty fun, guys. Y'all really need to get over there and check out Discord and Headspace and the Reloaders Network. And um, I just wish I had more time to stay over there. I mean, I could, I could really have some fun. Check out Uncle Jim on Saturday nights. Check out the Crazy Scotsman. Congrats on 2000 again, bud. Uh, on, and Allenby Pro on Foreign and Domestic on Sunday nights at 7 Eastern. So uh, that's about it. And I will see y'all Friday night, if not before. We're in touch. Y'all be in touch. I hope God blesses y'all real good. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.